Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an issue when you're trying to upgrade Windows 10 or Windows 11. This says invalid data access trap. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So typically this error message is associated with corrupted hardware or perhaps software that's triggering this error message. So the first thing I'd recommend doing would be to remove any additional peripheral devices from your computer. Like if you have any extra flash drives or other mouses perhaps, you might want to remove them. And you might want to even try swapping out with different devices that are the same. Like if you have another mouse, try plugging that mouse in or a different keyboard. And you may want to try switching ports as well. So instead of plugging into one USB port, you might want to try a different one. So that's something I would definitely recommend taking a look at. Something else you want to also try as well, if you open up the search menu, and you type in CMD, best match to come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And now you want to type in CHK, DSK, space, forward slash R, exactly how you see it on my screen. So again, CHK, DSK, then a space, forward slash R. Hit Enter on your keyboard. So check this cannot run because the volume is in use by another process, which would like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts. Tap the Y key on your keyboard and then proceed to hit enter. So this volume will be checked the next time the system restarts. So go ahead and save and close it of any open programs and applications and go and restart your device. And now do not tap any keys on your keyboard to skip the check, so just make sure you don't tap your keyboard at all. I am actually am going to tap a key on my keyboard to skip it because I don't want to make you guys wait 20 or 30 minutes for it to run the scan. But just generally let it run and it should repair the files automatically. That's the way that we put in the check this scan with that forward slash R. So it should find and repair hard drive errors that it detects. One further thing we can do as well, we can open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match, should come back with command prompt again. I click on it, run as administrator. Again, select yes. And now you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to resolve your issue. You can also check for updates as well through Windows Update. And, you know, that's something you're going to take a look into as well. But pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.